what's good everybody it's your boy o shane duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump <sighs> guys boys watkins is back at it again and unfortunately it's for all of the wrong reasons um it's not because of his good content on YouTube. Some people like, like boys. Um, you know, I'm not hating on them. You know, I know a lot of guys over here don't really like them. And, um, you know, I, I get a lot of his emails from guys who see his content on Instagram or YouTube. But one of the things that, you know, uh, Uncle Boyce has been doing is number one, he's been trolling a lot of, uh, of Kevin Samuels content but also heavily Kwame Brown. And I think that, you know, Mr. Brown has, you know, hit YouTube gold, um, you know, 360 something thousand subscribers in like the last two months, which is ridiculous. I've never seen anybody with that type of numbers, not even Kevin Samuels. Um, and then after that, you know, fresh fit. So he's been blowing up. He's making a ton of money now. He's a monetized guy. He's very entertaining. And, um, and Boyce Watkins, you know, remember he was the one that went live and talked about, well, you know, Kwame Brown needs to start using, stop using the N word because they're going to shut him down instead of, you know, trying to contact Kwame Brown um, behind the scenes and tell him, listen, some of the things you're doing on the YouTube space, you probably want to cut that down. And this is how you can do it. And I think that Kwame Brown is, you know, um, nice enough to have, have accepted that. He seems like, a, you know, he definitely is an articulate man. You no, know, Kwame Brown's an articulate man. And he seems like, you know, a person that, you know, is is uh, reasonable. He's not an unreasonable person. He seems the kind of guy, like, you know, if he makes a mistake, he'll own up to it. But if you if you if you mess with him, he'll come for you, he'll defend himself. That's what I get from him. I don't really look at him as a person that's trying to, you know, start trouble with people or anything like that. I think he's just, you know, kind of defending himself and stuff like that. So I believe that Kwame Brown, you know, had Boyce Watkins had reached out to him and uh, and told him like, hey man, you might want to you know look at how you're operating on the platform. He would have been appreciative of that. I'm I'm quite sure of that, right? But Boyce Watkins is passive aggressive. You know he he's very sneaky in my opinion. The way that he does things, he does a lot of things intentional, but act like you know, oh, oh yeah, no, it's not like that. But really, he's he does he knows exactly what he's doing. And not only have I picked up on it, Kwame Brown has picked up on it. A lot of people who don't like Boys Watkins now or don't want to talk to Boys Watkins, um, you know, have 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 picked that up. That you know, there's some things about Mr. Watkins that is definitely hypocritical. Okay, and um, and then what he tries to do is, you know, for some people, you know, why don't you email me so we can talk about it, have the conversation. But then you know, but but many times that's just to get you to stop talking about him while he's out here trolling other people doing the same thing that you know he's accusing others doing about him he's doing it to others well then he wanted to have a live stream the other day because you know boys can't really get views if he's talking about the things that he specializes in so boys dips into the negro kind of content to get um people to come to watch him now it's a business move you know he when he does that he makes money and um you know it gets more views to when he, if he wants to go into finance and talk about bitcoin or investing but he then said that he wanted to um debate kwame brown he wanted to have a discussion with him after he said that kwame brown was bothering him after kwame brown was harassing him. this is according to kwame brown right and kwame brown has come out and said hey bro i don't want nothing to do with you okay we don't need to talk you know, like, 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 boys, like, you know, he feels like, you know, in, in other words, boys, you're a snake. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be bothered with you. Just leave me alone. All right. Now, obviously we know that he doesn't even, um, no, as far as the Tommy Sotomayor situation goes, he won't even mention Tommy anymore. All right. He might call him, uh, you know, the B word or something like that. But, you know, Kwame Brown has gotten so I would say so much bigger than what Tommy is on the platform and get some more views. He would really be helping out Tommy out if he would talk about him. But Boyce, at least in Kwame Brown's eyes, is more more reputable to talk about. You know, whereas he sees Tommy as somebody that's not as important as a Boyce Watkins is on YouTube. But anyways, um, and, and Boyce just won't let it go. Okay, he doesn't want to talk to Boyce. He calls Boyce to go along, get along, gang. And and the reality is. 
people are, are jealous of what Kwame Brown is doing on the internet. Okay. Those of us who are social media people, meaning that before we might have had lives before, but in no shape or form were we celebrities. All right. So, when, like, in other, in other words, if I didn't come to YouTube, you wouldn't know me. Okay. That's different if, like, Jada Pig comes to YouTube. It's different if, like, my mood Abdul Raouf comes to YouTube. It's different if Judge Joe Brown comes to YouTube because these are people that have made a name for themselves outside of the platform. And what, what, what Kwame Brown has done bringing himself to the platform is he was already somebody before he got here as, as far as, you know, household names and people talking about him and stuff like that. All right. And people, I would say, like a Boyce Watkins, um, I would say Tommy, some people who are some of his biggest attractors, you know, number one, they don't have the access to certain people that he would have. You know, because Kwame Brown played in the NBA with certain people. He knows certain people. You know, he brought on Craig Hodges, which was a great interview. He brought on Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. Um, these are people that normal folks wouldn't be able to reach. Uh, I, I've never seen Craig Hodges on anybody's show. I know he had Judge Joe Brown, but, you know, people will deal with Kwame Brown because of who he is. Whereas the guys like Boyce Watkins, now fair enough, he was a PhD lecturer, um, but he wasn't Kwame Brown. And the success of these guys you know, instead of understanding that there's a lot for everybody, you know, these guys are, are they, they look at this in my mindset as, you know, with the, with the, with the, with the, how can I say this? It's a very minuscule mindset, you know? And you see that that's why the guys are hating on Kwame Brown, you know? It's enough for everybody. It's enough money from everybody. And it's coming from guys who say that they're rich, you know? Like, I'm a guy who don't have, um, the money that let's say like boys may have or Tommy may have, but they're hating on Kwame Brown more than me. I, I just don't understand how it happens. There's enough money for everybody. There's no need to be hating on this guy. Let him rock and just bothering the guy. Let him rock. He's not bothering you. And it just, it just goes like some black men are just so in certain aspects, so effeminate, you know, with the passive aggressive things that boys is doing, like the guy doesn't want anything to do with you. Like, leave the guy alone, okay? He already called you fake. You want to have a discussion with him? Why? Like, if Boyce, you know, because he's always doing research on people, why don't you do research on the stock market? Why don't you do research? Because I see a lot of these financial channels. I'm going to shout one out right now, right? A guy like Anton Daniels. Now, Anton Daniels, I, I wouldn't necessarily call him a, a, a financial channel and things like that. Um, this brother says he's a millionaire. I, mean, I have every reason to believe him. I don't think he has anything to, to lie about. But if you look at him, he talks about finance more so than Boyce Watkins does. Shout out to the brother. And he gets quite good views. Okay? Like, look at this episode here. Lease of my car is better for business. Should you lease our financial vehicle? Now, why you don't hear, you know, Boyce talking about this as much? Six habits keeping you poor. 15,000 views. Now, this guy has less of a following than Boyce Watkins. And he talks about more tangible things than Boyce Watkins does who is, by the way, the PhD in finance. You don't hear Anton Daniels talking about Kwame Brown or, you know, people like that because he's too busy talking about what actually matters, the content. Shout out to the brother. But Boyce Watkins is caught up in huh. drama, which is what he does. But, and, 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 and then, you know, and then you're going to say, well, black folks don't listen to finance. Well, what about Anton Daniels? They listen to him. Well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another the episode of The Celebrity Jump. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.